These are the Nike LeBron TR1s. This is Nike and LeBron's first foray into the training shoe category, um, similar along the lines to the Nike Metcon series. Uh, this review is going to focus more so on the shoe, what it's intended for, and my uses of the shoe. But before we get into the video, if you like, subscribe, comment, any engagement at all really helps the video to grow, helps the channel to grow, and I will be eternally grateful for everything that you all do and have done up to this point. But without further ado, let's get into this review. Starting with the packaging, as we always do, the LeBron TR1 doesn't feature anything in the way of premium packaging, and at $130, I really don't expect that. Um, it is a pretty basic setup in terms of the way it's packaged, the presentation, and things like that. On the top of the box, you have the LeBron logo along with the word training below that, obviously signifying that. When LeBron signed his billion dollar plus lifetime deal, I was expecting them to kind of like venture out, get signature athletes under, under the LeBron subsidiary, but also venture out into other categories. So you have a training category, and I'm assuming as LeBron uh, moves toward the end of his career, we're gonna see other categories pop, pop up under the LeBron um, subsidiary umbrella. But for the box itself, we have the big Nike swoosh on the front of the box. You have the LeBron signature and then the crown above that. That was something that I saw for the first time on the LeBron 19. And then on the other side of the box, um, you, are, you have again the LeBron crown logo. But overall, packaging for the LeBron TR1 isn't anything premium or surprising. Again, coming at $130, this is kind of what I expected. Now, when it comes to the design of the LeBron TR1, this is a training shoe through and through. This is uh, a no frills training shoe. So you have like an integrated uh, cable system that is in the upper of the shoe and that's obviously intended for maximum containment and fit. You also have your midsole foam that kind of wraps around the lateral side of your foot. And again, that's for containment. When you're doing your circuit workouts and things like that, this shoe will inevitably keep your foot on that footbed. Um, in terms of design features, you have the giant lateral swoosh that kind of resembles the upcoming LeBron 22. We got a preview of that at the 2024 Olympics in Paris and I see the resemblances. This one's printed on, the LeBron 22 is obviously integrated into the upper. You have the LeBron crown logo on the laces, you have the LeBron crown logo on the tongue loop, and then you have a Nike swoosh kind of integrated into the heel tab. On the traction pattern, you actually have a LeBron crown logo integrated into that traction pattern. Last but not least, you have that Nike swoosh on the toe box. And then one little interesting piece that I did see was you have a neoprene type of material that is built in or stitched in to the medial side. My only guess for that is that it's for maximum ventilation um, and maximum breathability. Just because again, when you're working out, your feet are gonna sweat. You're gonna want a shoe that's gonna have maximum breathability just to keep your feet cool. Now, when it comes to the materials for the TR1, there's nothing premium about this shoe. And at $130, I don't expect it. Uh, this is again, a training shoe that's intended to get beat up. But the upper of the shoe kind of reminds me of like a track pant kind of material that um, I really don't know how to describe it. It's kind of crinkled and things like that. But I would assume that this shoe is fairly breathable just because of that material on the upper. But in general, materials are pretty straightforward. Again, nothing premium at $130. You really can't expect premium materials at this price point. Now, obviously we can't talk about materials without talking about how the materials affect the weight. This shoe in a size 12 comes in at 12.3 ounces or 350 grams on the nose. Um, I want to say that when I got these out of the box, I was immediately awestruck by how light these shoes were. It's incredibly light. So obviously, again, it's not featuring any zoom or anything like that. It's just foam and a synthetic upper. But obviously what they did was just save a lot of weight. And what that's going to do is for the wearer, for the person working out, it's probably going to give them maximum stamina just because they can work out longer and things like that without having these shoes weigh them down. Now over on the fit and containment side, this is a little bit of a tricky situation just because the LeBron TR1 features a one piece upper. There is no elastic over the instep of the shoe, which would allow it to go on your foot a little bit easier. So my initial try on was a little bit of a difficult shoe to get on at first, um, but every subsequent wear, it got a little bit easier. For me, I wore these pre-basketball and then I wore them as a recovery shoe after basketball. And again, they were like a one-to-one -one fit. I went with my true size. If you're looking for a size recommendation, again, one-to-one -one fit, you're gonna to want to go true to size. If you want a little bit of room, half size, so whole size up just to have that easier time getting the shoe on foot. From a containment perspective, the cables integrated into the upper, 
the midsole that wraps around the lateral side of your foot are gonna keep your foot on the footbed. And then the base of the shoe is pretty wide, so your, your foot is gonna actually sit right in the shoe. When you're doing the circuit workouts and things like that, you shouldn't have any issues, again, with any containment. Capping things off with the cushioning of the LeBron TR1, there isn't any kind of air in this shoe. There's no max air, zoom air, anything like that. This is straight up foam. There isn't any designation of what kind of foam this is. Um, even on the Nike website. So I think it's safe to assume it's probably like a Cushlon, something that's a little bit on the firmer side uh, with some give and some comfort because again, this is a training shoe. But um, I think they did it obviously for one cost, but two, this, uh, the weight of the shoe. This shoe is incredibly light at 12.3 ounces or 350 grams. But when it comes to my recommendation, the LeBron TR1 is an easy shoe to recommend if you're a LeBron fan and you're looking for a training shoe easy it's a good looking shoe overall it's pretty straightforward no frills uh, i know that there are other shoes in the category like the metcon series but again if you're looking for something different or moving away from that series or that line of shoes the lebron tr1 or the lebron training shoe is an easy recommendation but if there's anything i missed or if there's anything you would like to know about the lebron tr1 please leave a comment if you like this video like it if you didn't like it dislike it but if you really really liked it please hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching and you have a great day.